You good? Yeah, you're good. Uh, oh. Hey, buddy. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, man. Oh, maybe it is. Welcome back, Dead Space Part 3. Long time coming. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh oh. Look at the bottom right, I have my webcam on. Hold on. There we go. You don't need to see my secrets. Uh, what was I saying? I found this out, by the way space. Duh. I always like it this way, right here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that highlight reel. I've been putting those together for every episode. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff's gonna happen to me this time that I don't even know yet. You guys know before I do. Right, let's take a peek in here. Uh, collect myself. New schematic. Put one of these away, put one of those away. Man, I really want a pulse rifle. Oh, we'll hold off. Just one more, one more section, I believe. This thing will do the trick. Okay, current objective. We're either going for that shock pad. Thermite. I'm guessing thermite. All weapons have an alternate firing mode. Could have used this information last episode, tutorial bot. Uh, let me uh, recharge here. Uh, make good use of that. I've been trying to adjust the game volume. It's been competing with my voice during these videos. So, we'll see how well it does this time. First video was horrendous. Second video was tolerable. Hopefully I nailed it this time. That would be no sweet. Unproportional. Oh. Great. Hazardous anomaly detected. Here we go. Way, lamp. Saw another one, I swear. The ammo type they drop is based on what guns you're carrying, for the most part. There's an 80% chance they'll drop something you have. That's why all they drop are these uh, plasma energies. There's another one. I see 
goodies in this room here. Can't quite get in there yet. Let's check this thing out right here. Okay, alright. I can deal with that. Another elevator. Just a little too excited to see me. There we go. It's like the first gauntlet stage of the game. Time to loot. What we got? What we got in here? Information, just what I wanted. What in God's name is going on down there? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You, you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor. Terrence. There will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. Unitology. Those idiots. Right, what do we got? Personal log. Dr. Kine T. Chief Science Officer. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but the artifact does indeed appear to be a genuine marker. The first to be found in Unitology's 200 year history. I'm eager to get it on board the ship so I can study it properly. Damn, door won't open until I'm done reading. The potential here is enormous, not just for me personally, though it's true I've dreamed of such a discovery for decades, but also to humanity and the Church of Unitology in particular. This marker could herald the dawn of new age for mankind, and I will do my part to ensure it come to pass. I know the Church will be grateful, but the true recognition will come from all of humanity. On this day, we are blessed. The Marker. So good on ammo. Oh, I gotta run back to the store. Okay, we'll go here last. We all know how this works. I finally convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious. Breathtaking. Miners undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection person. Perhaps that patient from the colony. This is getting ridiculous. 
Okay. We're doing it. I'm going back. I'm gonna get a uh, pulse rifle. I should start loading up on ammo with that as soon as I can. The Oriole's like, just a second. Just gonna hoof it back. Should be right through these doors. sell a stack or two of this ammo as well. Hmm. I'm gonna sell one. Move. A few more. Get me a pulse rifle. Nice. Alright, we should see, start seeing ammo for that. Red start popping up. Your weapon has no ammo in its clip. Yeah. This will probably be my two most used items. Carry on. Do a quick save. I don't want to lose any of this progress here. There we go. No God, no fear. No God, no fear. That's clever. Come on! Hey, come pal. On. Let me out! Uh, uh, no. You're good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Demon baby tentacle creatures lie before us. I think we'll be alright. Oh! Oh, it gave me a third of a second to react. So, was this guy the very last living person on this Emor? Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, I, I literally just came from here. This is where we keep the babies. You know, just in case we need babies. Yeah, there it is. There's that secret loot I was looking for. Is there anything else back here? Some organs. Love seeing these. Free 10,000 credits. Oh, what I get? Alright, that thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Oh, I'm sure your future 
is clean. Did you see that? What's up with that platform? Said. Nice. Don't charge that for free. Okay. That plasma, these plasma rounds, really coming in quick. So the reason I got the pulse rifle now is because I want to start working on ammo. I'm not going to use it just yet until I get some upgrades. Let's stash some more of this pulse or stash some more of this uh, plasma energy. Sell this. That's all these are good for. Okay. Well, line gun's not the worst. Don't need air cans. I'm gonna get at least two points in the uh, air tank upgrades for the rig. You don't have to worry about that so much. They're my bomb. Okay, let's get these shock pads. Buddy, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, man. Oh, maybe it is. Man, your skin, bro. Uh, the ammo, pick the ammo up. Outsmarted again, game. It's cool. Medical log, Dr. Warg B, Chief Psych Officer. Report of psychiatric observation, patient Harris B, employee, etc., etc. Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd. It points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is no doubt in his guilt is in no doubt two planet side security officers were present when he took Dr. Scaro hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And he doesn't deny his actions. But he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This is a classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is a affable and a friendly, able to emphasize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and intransigent. His flame schizophrenic behavior. He also undergoes intermittent, intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims to be threatened by a doctor because he had to stop the dreams and make the faces. And that he'll kill again to make it whole again. Harris claims to be threatened by a doctor because he had to stop the dreams and make the faces. And that he'll kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. So intriguing, I needed to write a novel. Alright, let's uh, bench it up. Maybe we can get something out of this pulse rifle right now. Ammo capacity. Hmm. Nothing here either. Rig. I think I'm going to put one in the air. What's that? Up? 20 second increase over 70 seconds. It's not too bad. Gotcha. Easy. Easy mode. Alright. 
could always use med packs. Eat so fast. He took a knee. He didn't like that stance. Carry on. Cargo to put on this. Put one tote and you're out of space. Infidels. Continue using this. Oh, oh, oh. Things have such an objective to me being up here. Objection? It's alright. Isaac Clark taking care of business as usual. Zero G therapy? Just where we need it. That's where that. Thank you for this vital information. While I'm on a time limit. Thanks for making use of that 20 seconds right away. Let's see, ammo. Some oxygen. Those are just like the stasis charge. Just sell them. In my opinion. If you need to use oxygen tanks, you're doing it wrong. As you know, the Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grav boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. It's just tutorial zone. Very good. This thing on power. All right, we're gonna get that over there. Oh. Fooey. All right. Hello, counter will flash red if you can't jump to a surface. Grab that. Is this over here? Right, how's this work? Control. Let's go up here. We're gonna plug this in real quick and then take a look around. I know we got goodies floating around somewhere. Right? There we go. You guys hear a little meow. That's my kitty, Xena. Thinking about putting up a, a kitten cam for next video. If I can get the, the overlay to work properly. Right now, if you saw at the beginning of this video, the webcam box is so tiny. And horrible res. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Yes. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay 
Stay safe, Isaac. Exiting entering zero gravity. Got him eventually. Lord. Okay, let's head back. Can't just jump over there. You have to go up and over. Xena here is my my sanity support. A little too stressed. Just pet the beast. Exiting zero gravity. Entering vacuum. Hi. Hi, hi. Went around that corner and I just remembered there's gonna be a dude in here. A little too late though. Exiting vacuum. Alright. Huh. Was that Yeah, he was there before. He That's how you tell. Uh, I see you! Suck it! Let him hear you, Isaac. Come on. Let's make our way back. Oh. Oh. One of these. I think I have one. Yeah. Do I use it to go in? I mean, that's worth money. Sometimes you make more than what you spend. As long as you get more than 10k worth of items. In some cases there's power nodes in these rooms. So let's let's just go in. Goodies. Our goodies. Ooh. Those are kind of expensive. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the text were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our duty, but keep your damn voice down. People are dying down here. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you please tell us? Do you? Okay. There's a few things that Pulse Rifle is particularly good at, and it's the only groups of those things. Too bad they surprised me right in the doorway. Evacuate this area immediately. I'm good. Isaac, don't take orders from you. Maybe back up. Some armor I have. Right, let's do a little bit of inventory management.
Alright, so I spent 10,000 getting in there and I got about 8,000 coming out. We're just going to stick with 100 in those. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking pretty good. I suppose I could heal. Mm. Not yet. Alright, well, we're back where we started. But we made our way through the barricade. <coughs> so, we'll head that way. Next episode, part four. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And hit that subscribe button. Each one helps. Alright, I'll see you guys next episode.